Well, where do I even start? Hello there, and welcome to Diner Diet Tribes. I'm Soltis from the Our Midnight Cake podcast, where my friends and I hang out and talk about movies and stuff. As I'm sure you can hear, the viral rhinitis is still going strong, but I finally appear to be on the mend. This morning, my youngest daughter told me I look less like a dry guppy. So, that's something. In a move everyone saw coming, G4 officially closed its doors again after the former host Frosk attacked the audience with a rant about sexism and gaming. Not wanting to lose to a girl, the now two-time ex-host Adam Sessler has launched his own attack campaign against not only the audience, but the world. <laughs> Easy, bro. Just because a person without a cod dangle is getting recognized for her achievements doesn't make you any less of a bumwort. In a virtual court hearing, Ezra Miller pled not guilty to charges of burglary and larceny, charges which carry a possible sentence of 26 years in prison. This is only the latest in a long line of publicized arrests and citations, including disorderly conduct, assault and battery, burglary, and grooming minors. Though, if recent trends in the U.S. justice system hold, the after-school star and self-proclaimed Jesus Devil Messiah will be remanded to the custody of his cult and free to pursue his hobbies. Hobbies that apparently include running a cult, burglary and larceny, assault and battery, and grooming kids. <coughs> Hunter Brothers Discovery couldn't drop Johnny Depp fast enough, but they're still on the fence about Ezra Miller? There's a lesson in that somewhere. Amazon and the team behind The Lord of the Rings, The Rings of Power, are scrambling to convince an audience it doesn't have that their show is actually a success, and everyone loves it. Except they forgot they made the show public, and anybody can watch it for themselves. <laughs> How do you know they're lying? Just push play. Mindy Kaling's Velma series is shaping up to be everything you knew a Scooby-Doo series made by Mindy Kaling was going to be. Ruh-ro. And finally, in a series of interviews fortifying Disney's reputation as a company of groomers and pedophiles, She-Hulk Attorney at Law Director Kat Quiro, writer and showrunner Jessica Gao, and star Tatiana Maslany have said how they wanted to make their, quote, horny forward, unquote, TV series, a sex-positive show for kids. When asked why, the ladies explained Disney's current crop of nine-year-olds is starting to lose their looks. If you happen to enjoy this tirade and want to show your support, please like, subscribe, and share with your friends. I'll see you next time. Bye.